Mrs. Balkes here at the Gear Up College Fair representing Salem State University in Lawrence High. Yep. Freshman over here, business administration major, biomedical major. And today we came to the panel to talk about to talk to eighth graders about our experience. We we're talking about our experiences and, and how we can teach them in the steps to like go to college, do good in high school, and other important things that we needed at that time. So all you first generation students, you can do it. Yep. You can. Look at us. <laughs> we are here from Lincoln Tech in Lowell, Massachusetts, and our whole thing to come out and to show the kids what to learn is basically that you need the willpower to learn to succeed in life and that if you show a little bit of effort into things you can succeed and to get a professional job out there. Hi my name is Marissa. Um, I go to school at Lincoln Tech in Lowell. Um, we are here today to teach the kids about how to properly brush your teeth, how to floss, the importance of your oral health, how your oral hygiene connects to your whole overall body health. It's a great program I hope they can understand that um, the classes that we're going through it's the requirements you need to have your GD or diploma you have to have a good personality to work with people um, it's a great school so I hope they're interested in it my name is Dr. Knight I'm an associate professor at the University of Massachusetts Lowell and I'm part of the bring diversity to nursing program and one of the uh, words that we like to spread is that um, we need nurses from all different cultures and ethnicities to care for people in our ever-changing country. And if I had one important message to pass on to anybody who is interested in health care, I would say that you need to study hard because you have to be really good in math and science. Nurses need to be smart and you have to work Early on, you can't just start working when you're a junior in high school. You have to work all the way through. So we all hope to see you at UMass Lowell and maybe in our Bring Diversity to Nursing Club at Lawrence High School in the future. So right now the baby, you, you're holding the baby and he's breathing pretty good and he's not making really any noises, but you could be taking care of this baby in my case and I'd be well, in the back room. Crying. And now, wait, what if all of a sudden something like this happens? Can I name him? Does that sound like normal breathing? Is that normal breathing? Yeah, that's normal. Okay, so that could be asthma. <laughs> oh no! Hi, I'm Jamie Haddad from Northern Essex Community College today. I'm here showing students all the different majors that we have to offer. We have over 75 programs. Today I brought with me a video of our dance program so students can learn about things in the performing arts. I'm Megan Foster. I work with um, Year Plan for the Future. My name is Amanda Grammel. I also work for Year Plan for the Future. And Year Plan for the Future is a college and career planning portal that um, is available to all students in Massachusetts. Um, the students here at, in Lawrence use it really mostly at the um, high school level um, to create resumes, plan for college, plan for careers after high school and after college. Um, and it allows them to create accounts in the system and um, really take interest assessments, figure out what they want to do and, and kind of make their path for post-secondary. Today I was really just hoping to talk to a lot of the kids and get a sense of what they're looking for, what they're looking to do, um, and let them know about your plan for the future. It's a free resource and one that they'll be using more and more in the years to come. My name is Rosalia Brown. I'm the administrative assistant at the Office of Ohana Student Programs at BC. Um, with me is Sue Eng Lee, who is currently in her senior year at BC studying at the Lynch School of Education. Well, what we help to instill in the students today, regardless of age, is Sue Eng Lee's experience in um, Tanzania and want, we want the students to know that they have access to these types of study abroad programs and also to make them aware of um, the importance of academic rigor and to utilize their summer programs or summertime and after school program to take academic enrichment programs. My name is Patricia Richard and I represent Middlesex Community College. We have campuses in Lowell and in Bedford. My hopes today are that students get an opportunity to see what it's like to take um, environmental science courses at Middlesex. Well, I'm Kelly uh, and I'm actually an assistant director of admissions at Berkeley College of Music. We had a fantastic time here um, working with all the students that came by. Uh, we were really hoping that they would take away just the fact that, you know, keep working really hard in school and that really their edu education can take them anywhere. Um, even down a musical path.
Uh, and it was fantastic just being able to play with them and answer all their questions and, and having uh, Lauren Queso here with me to help me out and everything. It was fantastic. So everyone had a great time. I think it was really successful and I hope that they just keep plowing ahead. I'm Edward. Uh, I go to MIT, which is a technical school. We focus on math, science, and engineering. I had a really good time today talking to a bunch of kids about, you know, what it is, what it's like to go to college and what it's like to study at an engineering school. I'm an aerospace engineer, so I'm really excited about planes and helicopters and things that fly. And one of the, the main thing that I hope kids got out of today is that. Uh, what colleges are looking for are students who are passionate. So I hope that what the students took away from today is the need and the desire to push themselves uh, to study harder and to challenge themselves in the, the hardest courses they can, they can find so that they'll be prepared and desirable to colleges around them. I'm Ken Stafford, I'm a professor at WPI and this is Fran. Fran, come over here. There she is, right? Hi. So we're here to uh, show off one of the uh, unique programs that WPI has to offer, which is robotic engineering. We brought one of our robots here and we're hoping that everybody gets excited about science and math and the potential for uh, doing really cool things like the robot we have here. We're hoping that some of these students actually end up coming to WPI because we offer a unique experience for, uh, for undergraduate education and it's, it's just a lot of fun seeing these guys get excited by our robots. That's my real intent, right? And I have a lot of fun too.